All right, so let me see. The 1930s and the Great Depression and something worse, regulation. Lots and lots of regulation. Now, regulations on merchant shipping. So the Steamboat Inspection Service was merged with the Bureau of Navigation created in 1884 to oversee the regulation of merchant seamen on the 30th of June, 1932. In 1934, the passenger vessel SS Morrow Castle suffered a serious fire off of the coast of New Jersey, which ultimately claimed the lives of 124 passengers and crew. The casualty prompted a new fire protection standard for vessels and paved the way for the act of the 27th of May, 1936, which recognized and reorganized the change of name of the Bureau of Navigation and Steamboat Inspection Service to the much more short and much more well-rounded, rolling off the tongue, Bureau of Marine Inspection and Navigation, which is a bit shorter, a bit shorter. Marine Inspection and Navigation duties under the Bureau of Marine Inspection and Navigation were temporarily transferred to the Coast Guard by executive order on the 28th of February, 1942. This transfer of duties fit well with the Coast Guard's port safety and security missions, especially for boats and sea dwelling, sea, sea dwelling vessels, and was made permanent in 1946. Now, Carl von Paulsen's rescue of a little kid. Now, one of the most prestigious Coast Guardsmen, Mr. Lieutenant Commander Carl von Paulsen, set the seaplane Articus in a heavy sea in January 1933 off of Cape Carvanaro. Cape Canavanaro? I, I know the Cape, right? It's Cape Canavanaro. But it's, um, Oh, Cape Canaveral. Cape Canaveral, right. That's where the, that's where NASA and, the NASA and stuff is. Anyway, and rescue a boy adrift in a skiff. The aircraft sustained so much damage during the open water landing that it could not take off. But ultimately, Articus washed the shore on a beach and all including the boy were saved and Commander Paulson was awarded the Gold Life Saving Medal for this rescue. And it was spectacular. Something that I wish I could have done, but... You know, I can't, but that is a hero right there. Risking his life to save a life. That is truly something. Anyway, more absorbing stuff into the Coast Guard. We're like, we're kind of like the blob at this point. We're kind of just like going and snatching up stuff. But this is a, this is a watershed moment though, so. The United States Lighthouse Service, which I told you about in the beginning, which is actually the oldest government agency dating back from the 7th of August, 1789 was absorbed into the Coast Guard on the 1st of July, 1939. And just two months later, the Coast Guards would find themselves not on the shores of Florida or California or LA or New York, but in Honolulu, in Palau, and in Guadalcanal. But the 1940s and World War II, those are videos for another day, so. With that being said, we came out of the depression not only stronger, but more duties and a hero among heroes before the greatest generation of heroes. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something, slowly getting over it, slowly getting better. And um, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And until next time, uh, enjoy and, and learn something, I guess. Uh, that one was a pretty energetic one. I'm slowly getting the hang of it. So with that being said, I might do World War One again, but let's keep going forward. Let's keep going forward for right now. We don't want to do this again, or I might make that the first one, and then World War One would be in the actual thing, and um, probably World War One, the OG would probably be last. Really shows you how far we come. But with that being said, seriously now, the 1930s should not be this long. Hope you enjoyed. If if you're depressed for real, get some actual help, and we'll be here waiting for you. 1929. Is a long and arduous battle, but you don't have to do it alone. You don't have to do a backflip off the stock exchange. So I know it's kind of grim and kind of dark for me to be making those kind of jokes, but if you really need it, seek it out. And until next time, prepare yourself for the 1940s because we're going to war. Not just any war, another world war. <laughs>